Anyway, welcome everybody. I'm Jay Hart Ellis, and I am going to be touring some houses here in ESO on Xbox. Starting with some Xbox EU homes and then Xbox NA. Just started these a couple weeks back, and it's been exciting to see the talent on Xbox. Normally, I just do PC tours. So, Xbox is a totally different beast because you don't have add-ons. It's a lot more difficult to acquire things, and... Yeah, it's just a totally different feel. You can't port around to people's secondaries and things like that because of add-ons and don't have essential housing tools. So what do you do? What do you do on Xbox? Well, you can do amazing things. So there's no particular theme to this. We're just going to get some housing decoration inspiration, see a variety of houses, and see what Xbox people have been up to. So Winter Storm 5674, um, all five of these houses on EU are from the Luminaries of Stellar Houses Guild. Thank you to them. Cathedral House. And we'll just go and look at this. So using some of these big Markar towers and then lighting it up with the stained glass windows, whether from elsewhere or from that furnishing bundle. And really impressive, really impressive. Xbox is housing hard mode. Yeah, streaming us live at twitch.tv slash jharellis. If you're watching on the YouTube VOD, you're welcome to join me there. Or if you are watching on the YouTube VOD, if you could please subscribe, that helps a ton. That is kind of taking in the scope of this. This build is an amazingly ginormous. Lining everything up, right? They have been adding more and more good features for housing, especially with a focus on console, like the precision editor, things like that that have made things easier over the years. And the Fire Song update coming in end of 2022 here, we'll be adding even additional features like being able to identify furnishings or tab target to furnishings or see which house in the visitor list and uh, being able to port to people's num to the ability to link houses in chat or in the guild message of the day. That will make it actually easier for me to be able to port around and visit houses, because right now I can only visit people's primary houses, and that can be a struggle because you have to... If you have multiple houses, you kind of have to pick and choose, especially if you have other contests or things going on at the same time. So hopefully all that will especially be nice for console. And so that was kind of a going around the outside view of this, getting a sense of the scope of it, just really impressive. Of the lighting going on, that's from the Azureplasm cage. Big dread sails door here. Okay, and then going inside, continuing with the theme of just really bright, really big over the top. And this is all in the Cold Harbor Surreal Estate, which is basically just a flat sandbox. So everything that's in here has built, been built up from scratch. Great use of the lighting here. It's a bit of a more cold feel to everything. All that energy is really focused just on the handful of furnishings. Do you have maybe something here? What's down this way? Is it a door? It looks like a door. Can I go down the door? Ooh, a little secret passageway maybe. Where does this go? Okay, now under the build. Maybe kind of like a little, little catacomb here with the different little mausoleum pieces. Okay, cool, cool. I like to leave it away, find it. But I don't know if I can access the door. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, will they kill me if I leave it? Open. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. Oh, there we go. It from the side of it. Ba 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 ba. And then I think that there was some stairs this way as well. My character on Xbox EU is basically just a template character with, a, or like the starting character with a move helmet slapped on. <laughs> so. It's not my traditional look, but it's good enough. As long as I have the heart of the moo here. So 
So library area, research area. This is Winterstorm on Xbox DU from Luminaries. Treasures, antiquities over this way. Okay, I think that will mostly do it then. So, a big complex with some valuables inside. Okay, and I think the J Heart the Poor. <laughs> exactly. And I think that'll pretty well do it. I'm going to port around to the next home. And really impressive. That that architecture is really something. Next up, the uh, Guildmaster of Luminaries. That'll be fun. Howdy, howdy, everybody in Twitch here. Okay, Potentate's Retreat. They have a tropical beach house, they call it. Okay, we'll get into that. Potentate's limited time, notable home. Does have big rotunda and then a big outdoor water area. So I'm just gonna go until I get to the water, I believe. Aha, there's stuff. Anything over that way, anything over that way. I believe the build is this. Does it look like a tropical beach house? It does. Okay, great. A lot of Argonian furnishings with the walls and the archway and the walkway up above for a roof is nice. And you get these really crystalline waters down below. They look fantastic for a beach house. Very tropical feel. Oof, I think I missed that. Oh, wait, we have a, like a volleyball. The heck is Shea Lantern? Oh, great, great. Fall right on top of it. We have seagulls. We'll call them seagulls. We're going fishing. It's all sorts of fun stuff and big custom build here. Very inviting. Very tall ceilings here. Certainly helps too. Love how they've decorated the walls here, just making it more colorful. They have, oh, that's lovely. They have like driftwood down below being used as a flower planter here, or just as a display. Yeah, wall art and driftwood displays and all sorts of fun stuff. Being really creative with that. It's not Xbox without a toilet. Oh, perfect, perfect, okay, good. <laughs> Custom made toilet. I like the super plunger there. I <laughs> perfect, perfect. It's like using the broomstick with a wood elf cask. Anyway, toilet count, toilet count. Yeah, no, we're at at least one toilet so far. Okay, tropical resort here. Custom kitchen. Love how they've done the cabinets up above. That robust and practical feel. For the backsplash here, they've just used paintings that are reversed. And I think what they've done here is they've done a clever thing since it's multiple of them. Imagine what they did is they used a precision editor to kind of, so if you have two of these, you can kind of angle them a little bit one way or the other so that the edge of that doesn't show up. So it's just very seamless that way and you just get this really extended effect. So it looks, it looks really great. All sorts of fresh tropical foods. We can make a smoothie and all sorts of good stuff. I like the custom blender here. See, it's a vampiric furnishing. It's supposed to be all creepy, but no, it's just a happy, happy tropical smoothie here.
and really cozy inviting bedroom. Love how there's just little pockets of color throughout here as well. Breaking up the kind of just general brownness of all the wood furnishings, so certainly helps. Let's see, and another bedroom over this way. Looks like I can go outside a little bit, out back too. I'll go to the next level first. Oh, very, very open with a fireplace in the middle. That's fantastic. Very modern feel to it. Custom-made outdoor bench here. That's, that's really cool. It's skooma or something like skooma. Great use of the balcony. It's just all these really fun furnishings throughout custom made cobbled together really lovely love seat and we have a little custom terrarium with a drabo in it and it's really cute really really cute has it has lettuce to munch on. That's that's adorable. Just making sure not to miss too much. And another bigger bath area. Perfect. Lovely. What does it have a second toilet? I don't think so. That's okay. Custom shower up here. You know, a drain and I love these little holders here for the bottles and the soap. Not something I see very often in the custom custom showers that people have. And then the tub over this way. I like that. It looks like a faucet. It looks like one of those that has like the hose that you can pull down and use. A much more modern feel to it. So getting really clever with the details on this. Getting a lot of color here. Perfect, perfect. Interesting shower. No, it's fantastic. And then I'm going to go out back. Go down and then out. So a lot of talent on the Xbox. Oh, another ball. Oh, we have a whole pool area. Oh, that's awesome. Look how fresh it is. Go for a swim. Beautifully refreshing. Nice and private here. There's a fancy beach ball there. And we can play some table tennis by the pool here really really fun so definitely focus on being entertaining and having fun and playing games watching around soaking in the sun all the, you know all the good stuff here so tropical beach house from isera ixera i don't know if the x's are pronounced <laughs> anyway uh from luminaries thank you thank you again i really, I really appreciate you and i appreciate luminaries guild and absolutely stunning house. Amazing architecture and fantastic deals sprinkled throughout. And with that, I'm going to move on to the next home. Going relatively quickly today. Have to use a roster to put around these. Ooh, Corleone. That'll be fun. Are you not in luminaries? <laughs> huh. Uh, is it spelled with an O? Uh oh. I have an idea.
Rip. This is oh, this is zero. Okay, okay. Are you are you just here? That's fine. I'll find you. It's not an O. It's a zero. There we go. There we go. There we are. On we go. Next one. <laughs> Mystery solved. Well on. This was uh, for a Luminaries Cave competition. They said that this is a. Uh, they did this all in a single night. It took six hours, and they made a crab cave. Okay, we'll see a happy crab cave. Xbox people are quick and talented with that. We have treasure. We have cave. We have some beautiful rock sliding this. Makes it feel older and a little damper and Happy little frog. This is in the colossal Old Mary Grotto, so normally there'd be like a ship right beneath me, but they've totally changed it. Great use of the bright flowers. And the waterfall here. Really modifying that with a lot of these glowing plants. And we have a crab. First of many, I hope. This is quite a cave structure. Am I gonna fall into that? Wow. It's just full, full, full of crystals and these magical plants and it looks totally enchanting. Okay, let's go. Let's just keep going. Seems like they did a good job of pathing this with the cave structure. Great use of the waterfalls that are built into the Colossal Old Mary. I could make the camera bigger. I'd resized it. Or smaller. Twitch asking me to make my camera smaller. <laughs> I'd been showing off my new green screen earlier. I'm I'm so impressed that they were able to do this so quickly. Beautiful use of all of these exotic elements. Oh, big crab, big crab hidden down here. So many crabs. Yeah, starting on EU first. I have a bunch of homes on EU and then a bunch on NA. I just love the color choices here. So many fantastic bright furnishings that just flow so well together. as well. Okay, all good. Well, what an amazing reveal.
Big Crab here keeps a nice home. Keeps a fantastic cave here. Okay, and next up. Is from Toxian. Now, speaking of, there we go. Let me make the camera bigger again. <laughs> Let's see, where, who was that? Toxian has a small build with their favorite pets and mounts. It's a little haven for them. Yeah, ban somebody for trolling me here. Sorry about that. Okay, okay, small build. Another cave. What house is this? It's in the Cold Harbor Serial Estate, so this has all been custom made. So opening up. It's very exotic. All these floating crystals, the bones of water. This is not the right house. Don't turn around. This is not the right house. Try to just come back to a different house next time. That's her garden. Should I tour it while I'm here? This is the issue with Xbox houses, is I just have to go to the primary houses and hope it's the right one. Okay, I'll go ahead and vo uh, go to their garden here. You're welcome to send me messages on Xbox, uh, either Xbox EU or Xbox NA. It's the same name, J.R. Ellis, in-game. You can send me a little blurb about that and invite me. It certainly helps if you say which house it is. That way I can make sure it's the right one. <laughs> My note just says primary, question <laughs> mark. Uh, anyway, don't turn around. Oh, don't turn around? Be sure. Let's see. I think I, I think I can tell. I think that's a foot. I see. Maybe I should not worry about vodding this. Uh, how's it been going so far? It's quite a reveal with the garden, though. Okay, well, cool. Now I'll go to the next house. Stone dead. Okay, this is Stone Dead does amazing builds. Into several so far. Spicy garden, couple things in there. Let's go to the next house. Oh no. Don't turn around. Yeah, no, it's okay. I won't quite spoil it yet. Maybe maybe you'll be able to see what it is. No, scripts don't work on Xbox. I'm kinda of thinking that with the link to chat with the fire song that you will be able to just Type out the link and then be able to port to it from the link. So hopefully that will work. I don't know if there's a great way to test that. Maybe I could test it on PTS with just gamepad mode on. Okay, so here's a reveal. It is a wall. There's some stairs. I'll go to the stairs. I think we might get a reveal from up here. 
More wall. Ooh. Can you tell what it's supposed to be? Ah ha ha! We have from Lord of the Rings, the Battle of Helm's Deep. How awesome! Say, uh, go up the mountain. Okay, okay. So I'm where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> okay. So we have the big wall with a sewer grate, and we have the curved wall going up, and just imagine a river of orcs down below here. Going up that, so fantastic, fantastic movie from the Two Towers. Fantastic scene from that. So much detail. Using Prize Pinnacle is a fantastic backdrop for this. Just kind of remembering different scenes from the whole battle. The whole battle sequence is very long, like a hour or something. <laughs> it's like crazy, crazy long. Ton, tons going on. All the all the armies converging. Strategies unfolding. Different units taking center stage. Super, super important. If they had fallen at Helm's Deep. What would have happened? Super, super impressive using the, um, the furnishings that they were able to use here, too. Doing a fantastic job with that. Just instantly recognizable. And a good balance of everything. Can I get in there? I want to be an orc. Can I be an orc? Say I'm trying to breach this. How do I get in? What if I just go ask nicely? Okay. Or do I go uh, do a, go the explodey sewer route? I'll go explodey sewer route. Oh dang it! I, for I forgot my I forgot my explosives. Dang it! I'll go I'll go up the other way. Go ring the doorbell. Yeah, let's just see. Maybe if I just go ask nicely. Your son, Girl Scout cookies. Maybe? Oh, well, that worked. Okay, great. <laughs> We're in. <laughs> it was actually decorated inside, too. I wasn't actually expecting that. <laughs> okay, so we have, we have more. You can go in. Okay, great, great. Thank you. This is the other view. The other view. Okay, we're in. We have to defend this keep. What do we do about the tens of thousands of orcs? Fall back, fall back. Can I f fall back, back? Oh, not quite. I imagine there's not a bridge up to the very top. Unless... I mean, I can go in. And let us in, let us in. As orcs are cold. Oh no. Wait, no, no, I'm I'm falling back, I'm falling back. Retreat, retreat. I can go in. Safety of the caves. That was nice inside. <laughs> it's all good, all good. Citizen Quack. Citizen K walk with a sub. Thank you, thank you. With the advanced one with the September going on right now. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. It's a great way to do it. So, while everybody's out fighting, all the kids are just in here chilling. No, that's not good. Okay, so that's fun. So we have Helm's Deep. Huge. Impressive build here. <laughs> I 
Thank you again, Stone Dead. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Look to the east. Okay, and that will... Bullhorn. Will anybody answer the call? It's just kind of fun to blow. Great surprise. Yeah, absolutely stunning and crazy. Okay, that will do it for uh, Xbox EU for this week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flop over to Xbox and A now. And then I have six more houses. This is a relatively smooth transition. I decided to do both this week. Yeah, Xbox is pretty easy to flip between the two of them. Okay, that'll be good. Play on both with the one connection. So it is on PC too, though. We can play on both PC NA and PC EU if you have one or the other account. Okay, six more homes on Xbox and A. What will we see? Some happy things. For Twitch, I need to vent about something after the tours are over. Anyway, I'm just gonna let you know about that. <laughs> oh, okay. Or oh, Rose Crate from the uh, Twitch shop from before. That's cool. Okay, next up. Okay, I'll go to. Oh, it's just right here. That worked. Okay, going to Cap Durfs. Nope, nope, nope. Cap Durfs. Not traveled player. I've done that before. They're primary residents. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, they have a Tamriel monorail train and station. Oh, fun, 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 fun. And Stillwater's retreat. We'll go see what do you do to make something a bit more modern transportation-wise. It's a Tamriel, though, so maybe it'll be kind of fitting within the ESO aesthetic. Have all these dogwoods, very dark here. A bit magical. So this must be a station, then. See where all the different lines are going and get your tickets. I'm a little bit more my normal self looking on this character. Not super golden, though. Must be a map of Tamriel. We'll plot out where we're, where we're going. Where are we going? We'll go find out what our choices are. And just a beautiful fountain for the station. That's cool. That's Durf's place. Oh, I should have my bow tie on. I think that's right. I should have. Okay, and then outside we have... Oh, it's bigger than I thought. Okay, cool. Oh, I have chat on. I swear I keep turning it off and it keeps reverting. <laughs> uh, hopefully it'll be not a problem. I love the idea of just having these really, really over-the-top, like, water sculptures, just as part of the station. Like, these public works where they just dump tons and tons of money and resources into them just to make them look nice, especially since it's, like, where a lot of tourists and things like that will see things. And then we have this amazing, amazing vehicle here. Oh yeah, so so it's powered from the top here. That's cool. So it's a it's like a hanging monorail. And we can go in. Oh, beautiful golden bowl there. And get some drinks. 
Right, this is all in Stillwater's retreat. Sleeper car. Looks like I can go into multiple of the compartments. If I can hop. So here's where we can choose whether we go forward or backward. <laughs> and speed. I guess that's about all you can do. Monorails are... Uh, I'm sure there's a lot more going on. And then... Oh, I missed a section. What did I miss? Or maybe that was it. Yeah, the front with the engine. And the engineer. And they have... Oh, I love the details of the front, if I can look at them. Looks like this door would open up. Closed off right now, though. Probably dangerous to hop over here, but you can look at cargo being up and loaded in. Absolutely impressive over-the-top build. How long have I been playing the game? Oh, since about, oh, 2015, I believe. About a year past launch. I've only been on Xbox for a couple weeks, though, so that's been fun. Only really focusing on housing stuff, though. Okay, and moving right along. To Erica's. Okay, next up, Erica0328 has a barbecue. Barbecue, eh? Well, that sounds like fun. Go and grab a bit. Okay, so it's in Ravenhurst, so it said outdoor barbecue, so I'm imagining it's mostly in the courtyard. Really modern refrigerator there, that's awesome. Dog has big food bowl and drinking bowl. Very happy. Cobbled stove. Using multiple axes for the handles. That's clever. Big... Oh, there's a dog. <laughs> big inviting... Sofa here, too. Using multiple beds together, just kind of linking them all. Blending the seams with the pillows, and then that ends up working fantastically. Then, I don't want to go that way. I'm going up. Toilet. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Love the Fargrave window here. It's super, super bright. And custom sink. Yeah, the white texture on the couch looked fantastic. Super clean and fresh feeling to it. I like the vanity with the mirror down here. There's a little furnishing. It's I think it's a clothing furnishing. It's like a patch kit, and then it looks like a like makeup this way though. Okay, 
Okay, so a lot of custom pieces throughout so far, and we'll go to the courtyard, which is where I think we'll have our barbecue. I see some food. Food is good. Seem to have a whole pizza cooking in there. And we have corn, have kebabs, rust nuts and tomatoes. Love the custom flower here. Let's add multiple different types so you get your own personalized color combination. And we can go and feast. Oh yeah, this looks this looks really nice. Everything you'd ever want. I like the centerpieces with the candles and the flowers. Somebody put a lot of love into arranging this. Hopefully we don't get rained out. Okay, no. We have good company and great food and it'll all be good. Come and relax and stay out of the rain. I'm really hoping they add weather toggles. They're adding the sacred hourglass of Alkosh, which will allow you to control the time of day, but not the weather. Maybe, optimistically. Sandstorm out of nowhere, yes. <laughs> They're really bright back here. This table's really something. Love what they've done with it. Okay, next up. Odds. Okay, Odds Trooper 16 has a home. I'll go find out. I think they were maybe going to send me a backstory. I'm not sure if I got it. <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay, we're good. Okay, Strand Springs. Love how they've used all the rock walls here. Kind of an older but well tended garden. Peaceful music box certainly is helping. Peaceful lightning strikes. Maybe not so much. I feel like this would pop a little bit more in bright daytime. Soon, soon we can get that going on. Poor little crabs. Very peaceful. They have the candles, little, little offerings spread about. A little energy here. Hmm. Cat is keeping guard. Okay, so dedicate to Stendar. It's a very reverent feel all the way around so far. Bit of an older graveyard here. So maybe it's a church. It could be. It could be. Gaming in another world with a fellow. Welcome. Yeah, not spooky. It's certainly not spooky. It's Rihanna with a resub. Thank you. Thank you. Super appreciate you. Okay, I think it is a church then. Church of Stendar of some sort. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jade, Jade Lioness with a reset as well. Thank you, thank you again. 
I always start to say your name, Jade Lee. <laughs> Jade, Lioness. Perfect, perfect, thank you. All the Stendar goodness, all the pouring and outpouring of abundance here. Ooh, Cryptor. What do you have behind here? Oh, just more beautiful flowing. That's a really great use of this music box here, because it has a it has a flowing cups as well, so it perfectly matches the theme. Big fan of a build like this, where it's just every everything seems like it has a purpose to it. Or the people that would come come by here to worship. Very personal. Keeping records. Doing research. This place feels like it's centuries old too. Has this like a monastery feel to it. And for maybe I don't know what they would be monks, maybe something like that. Then just a very humble living. Getting by. It's very private. A bit reclusive. Probably mostly keep to themselves. But eating healthy food and serving Stendar. Okay, well, this is really cool. This is really well thought out. Details, clutter, yeah, good clutter throughout where it needs to be, and then very not cluttered where it doesn't need to be, and then it was very peaceful and reverent as I hop from the top. <laughs> that was, was fantastic. Great use of the music boxes and the moody atmosphere. This is full of incense here, and I haven't been to a lot of older churches, but um. They've certainly captured something here. Okay, absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you again. Okay, that was from Odd Trooper. Okay, next up from Nora Baggins' sort. In five guilds on Xbox and a all housing ones, and there's a lot of overlap with the rostered, but lots of times not, <laughs> so sometimes it can be hard to find people. Okay, we'll go from one lovely build to maybe something a little darker. Maybe, maybe. In the Bastion Sanguinaris. Good place to put dark things. Okay, what is our first hint here? Very red, have a big blood fountain. Okay, so this is a vampire laboratory. Seems like there's maybe gonna be more than just even this one greenhouse. Even even this one greenhouse is really fantastic though. Using a lot of the more red furnishings and the toadstools and mushrooms and all sorts of fun stuff. Creepy crawly stuff in there. Those snake vines are fantastic. And the crystals are really, really, like, focusing in on the blood fountain here. I love I love how it's kind of framed that way. Okay, 
Okay, it's spooky, it's spooky, spooky. Okay, going inside. We go from spooky garden to what is the spooky garden being used for? Ooh, all sorts of interesting experiments. Doing research. Nothing wrong with that. Mysteries. A lot of energy flowing throughout here. Oh, that was a clever way. There's normally a door right here, but they covered it up in a really tasteful way. Probably to help preserve the item limit for the other places. Yeah, like all the bubbling condensers and everything, just all the... Everything feels so fresh. <laughs> the candles definitely has this vampire feel to it. Okay, creepy stuff. Slightly creepy. A lot of death motifs. And then getting a little bit more practical here. We'll go from the research side of things to the application. Oh no, what do we have going on here? All these tanks. Oh no, there's all these things in the tanks. Now, a clever thing about these vampire tanks is that you can, you know, see through them. So you can hide stuff in there, whatever you want. All these fun luxury corpses and creepy things. Fantastic. <laughs> what else do we have shoved in here? So some of these just kind of come like this, but you can you can you can add your own flavor to them. Mmm. Different flavors of punch here. Okay, cool. And creepy, mostly creepy, mostly cool. All sorts of foul things going on. Yeah, the guilt... I need to turn off the social UI. I'm... I could try to do it really fast. They time out, but they'll probably come up again. I just don't remember where to do it. It's that one. I don't even know why it was on. I thought I turned it off. Okay, that was easy. I don't have to worry about it. I should have done that again earlier. Small vial freshings on a desk. It was a good use of that ribbon spire freshing because it's so, uh, you know, bright red magenta feel. Little vials? There's these little... Do you, do you mean these? These are the poison blood you get from the bequeather down from the refuge. Can ask for one free thing each day, and you have a chance of getting something. Oh, the small delicate vial. Uh. Ba 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 ba. Check the what in the front. I mean it red. Oh, I was checking the. Oh, there's more back here, too. In the front? Back over this way? Oh, yeah, it is red. It is red. So you added carpet down below? So it looks like flowing, flowing blood. Okay, cool, cool. Anything else, Nora Baggins? Absolutely stunning vampire laboratory. I like how it has this nice, like, workflow to it. You know, from the garden to doing the research to whatever the application here is. <laughs> uh, I'm sure. I'm sure they're just finding 
ways to heal people, cure cancer and stuff, right? That's what they're doing. Maybe not. How do we make the most tasty punch? <laughs> oh, good. Okay, thank you, thank you so much again. And I think I just have one more home. No, two more homes. That'll be done. Hey. From Insta Property Assistance. Thank you so much. Thank you. We have Qui Gon Smith. Yeah, Xbox UI is a little different. The chat window's in a different place by default. I'm not actually sure if you can change it. <laughs> not sure why that is. Xbox has all sorts of weird different features, like voice chat system and stuff, which I actually wish they had on that on PC, but... Some give, some take. Okay, Gwakon Smith has their third home. I've gone to one of their homes each week for the last couple weeks on Twitch, so... This will be the third and final one, which will catch me up with what they had requested I visit. And the other two had been fantastic, so looking for a third amazing one here. It's a little spooky. It looks Halloween-y. We have pumpkin pumpkins and crows and magical books. Oh, I like that. Like how like the, the book was closed, it flopped open, and then magic starts coming out. Slightly cursed. Maybe more than slightly. Amazing clutter going on here. Maybe it was a merchant cart at one point here, but something terrible has happened. Got attacked by something. Somebody sent me a message about how to disable that, and I had to look into it. <laughs> I don't remember who it was at this point. Uh-oh. Oh, we have a big spider nest. Oh, fantastic. It's all creepy. Trapping birds and people and horses and everything. Do I go into the spooky forest? I will go into the spooky forest. What home is this, by the way? It's, uh, Apple Domicile. Totally unrecognizable. Spooky forest? What book flops open? Oh, well, they don't. <laughs> um... That'd be cool if there was an animated book for the Elder Scrolls, because they do lots with books, because it's about scrolls and stuff. Need more books. More books, Zoss. Make more money. Your audience wants books. Okay, anyway. Oh, I don't know if I'm going the right way, but it's getting really sticky in here. Oh, what am I, what am I doing to myself? Just eat me now, please. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. <laughs> no. Uh, I even added a custom spider head on that just to make it even creepier. Gosh. From the Undaunted bust. I don't think I'm supposed to be going into the forest, but... I got stuck. I'm gonna go back. Okay, so I think that's mostly it. So, super spooky forest. I imagine this would look spookier at night. But, it's really pretty. <laughs> it's like all the spade leaves and things over here. No, um, no, it's super spooky. Oh, yeah, super spooky. Happy little crows. Yeah, I can't wait for Q4 with the Sacred Hourglass of Alkosh. It's fine, though. It's still, it's still spooky. Maybe it'd be too spooky at night, right? Okay, and last up for today. PvP Mountain. I can type. No, I can't. I really can't. Okay. had set their home to be 
A Scald King Viking Longhouse. And this came first in a Cottages and Courtyards Guild contest. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, I have a happy thing for Twitch going on. I will do this after I wrap up the VOD. Um, PvP had also sent me 500,000 gold. Which I am going to do as a Xbox NA exclusive giveaway after I wrap this up here today. So, that's a lot of gold for Xbox. Xbox is hard to get gold. <laughs> PC has a like runaway inflation and it's interesting. Anyway, we'll focus on the build here. We'll do some bows giveaways in a little bit. Howdy, howdy, everybody. So this is in the Antiquarian Alpine Gallery. And so going up, so this has all been built up, like from the ground up then. They must have liked their structure up here better. Okay, so we have like a frozen river here. Except for the waterfall. Can I go this way? Okay, no. Okay, good. That's cool. Very thoughtful of them. Okay, so they're hunting here, trapping things, surviving the cold winter. Is this a... like a tool shed or an outhouse? Oh, I can't be Xbox with out fun toilets here. Perfect. A happy little outhouse. <laughs> okay, good. And then going in. To the Skull King Viking Longhouse. Looks like they have a little child. It's kind of a, an adorable way of doing that. Or it could be for a dog. It's probably for a dog. <laughs> Watching at the... Yeah, it makes more sense. Okay, it's all, it's all good. I don't know where children sleep. Maybe it's for kids. I, it's all good. Interchangeable, maybe. Lots of food. We are well stocked for winter here. What? Happy goats and sheep here. They get to stay warm, relatively. Must be really, really cold outside then. Seems like they have a lot to work on. They have a forge in here. I bet that keeps everything toasty. Oh, that's not what it is. PvP Mountain has some great builds. They do, they do. Then we have a throne room here. Feasting room. Fairly cold throne. Okay, what an amazing way of making this. And this has all been built up from scratch. This isn't just decorating the interior of the Alpine Gallery. All all the roof and the walls and everything and has all been custom added here. And all on Xbox, all without add-ons. Extra challenge of being able to craft and everything on Xboxes makes this all that much more impressive. All the drinking horns and everything. Everything's kind of nice and tidied up right now. 
playing games, staying warm, having nice food. Compact living to survive. Okay, and that will that will do it for this week. So thank you everybody. And yeah, I'll vote this and put it up on YouTube. And again, if you're watching there, if you could subscribe, it's free to subscribe on YouTube if you could do that. That'd be fantastic. And more housing inspiration to come. Been doing a lot of housing tours for both PC and for Xbox lately, and it's been really, really great. And more and more housing love keeps being added with each update. We're looking forward to the changes coming with Firesong in particular. There's quite a few good housing updates, so that'll be fantastic. And thank you again, everybody, on Xbox EU and then Xbox NA, and that will... I'll do it. There's a ceiling. Okay. So, so much you can do with housing. You can make your own fun custom builds. You can make magical enchanted gardens. Happy crab caves. You can make really creepy vampiric builds. You can make m modern things. You can make toilets. You can make so, so, so many toilets. You don't really have a toilet. So make your own, right? Figure out what you can do to make something your own. It's something you can be proud of. Just get really creative and artistic and personalize things. Have fun with it. Stay spicy. Move.